<laughs> oh. I'm excited. Here we go. Welcome back to the Ripple Effect. Uh, second episode with the boys, Sharky and Fuad. And Kai joins us once again. And we're going to try something different here. Uh, this is an idea that I've had for a little while. And I wanted to pilot it. And I think these are the two guys to pilot it with. And so if you are in the business of stealing uh, my ideas and content <laughs> and you know who you are... <laughs> Then don't with this because I'm giving it its own name and it's my name. This is the Pyramids of Alcott. <laughs> okay. <laughs> need like a jingle after that. Pyramids, pyramids. I mean, Frank Ocean literally made a song called Pyramids, so just use that. Yeah, well, I might get done for copyright, but we'll, well give it a go. It's on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. The song's on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you're safe. Um, so, what we're going to do yeah. is this. Okay, we're going to have a look at, and we've got 20. And uh, we'll run through some other managers. 21, sorry, Kai. Thank you. Um, we've got 21 managers cool. and we've got ourselves a tier list. And the idea of the tier list is looking at Premier League managers and their impact. Okay. Impact is the word here, okay? Mm -hmm. Their impact on the Premier League. Now, I hear you saying, are you screaming? Pyramids of Alcott, Jim, what the hell are you on about? Well... You will see a tier list. And if you're watching this on YouTube right now, welcome. Enjoy. Um, yeah, there's Sharky. <laughs> there's Fuad. Uh, you will see a tier list. But the way that it's going to be different here is that in each category, uh, it gets less and less. So the bottom tier is no impact. And there are eight spaces. Oh, that's that. harsh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's brutal. No impact. <laughs> no, zero impact. Uh... Okay. What I love about this one as well is people, are, because first of all, the grayness of this idea, yeah. as in like impact, is going to lead to all sorts, right? But what will inevitably happen is someone will screenshot this at the end. Oh, for sure. And be like, what on earth is Disaster. this stuff? So if you are that person who's done that, you're an egg. Okay. <laughs> um, then average impact, which there are six spots for that. Impactful, which is four spots. Then there are two spots for very impactful. And then for the most impactful... Not the most exciting tears, by the way, Kai. We can, we'll, we'll work on this next time. Um, there is only one spot. Thus, it is a pyramid. Okay? And we have some absolutely banging names in there. Oh, wow. Because being a goat and being impactful isn't the same thing. For example, mm. Bob Bradley was never the goat. I think we can all agree on that one. No, definitely. <laughs> but he was impactful. He single-handedly confounded every American soccer coach, stereotype, while simultaneously being very poor at his job. <laughs> but by doing this, he made it very hard for any other Americans to be taken seriously in the Premier League. Isn't that right, Jesse Marsh? True. Well, that is very true, you know. That's the impact. Because sometimes you think about impact and you only think positive. Mm. <laughs> well, that's, see, and that's important. <laughs> that is so important with this tier list. Another manager who's uh, had an impact uh, was Frank Lampard. Him being bad at his job led to Chelsea. It's hard. Being bad at the job led to Chelsea winning the Champions League. With his £72 million signing, scoring the winning goal against Man City for the side led by Thomas Tuchel. You'll be pleased to know that neither Bob Bradley nor Lampard are in this list, but you get the point. So, we asked you on Twitter for a couple of extra ones right at the end of it all. And you put forward some absolute belters. But we do have a nice long list. Now, Kai, could you just get the long list of names so people know um, who we're talking about here? It's all right. I'll give you a second. So, we've got Fergie. That's uh, Alex Ferguson, not um, Darren. Um, we've got Pep. We've got David Moyes. We've got Sam Allardyce. Redknapp. Benitez, Mourinho, Klopp, Ranieri, Hodgson, Rogers, Keegan, Conte, Ancelotti, Mancini, Dalglish, Wenger, Eddie Howe sneaks in there, Bobby Robson, and um, Cam. Try so, and some notable mentions. Oh, have you got the last two? Yeah. What last two? Cool. Thomas Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel. Gerard Julio. And Gerard Julio both made it in. Okay. There were some notable mention. Friend of the show. Cam said Tim Sherwood. Oh, Tim. Mm. It's a firm Just note. Some Harry Kane in there. Uh, my, that, was, that was my era of Spurs, by the way. Oh, right. <laughs> um, Dan Hackney, who's a good friend of mine, he said Mark Hughes. Who, uh, you know, he, he went around, you know, and created maybe the Aguero moment because of our, our good uh, end to the season that year. QPR stayed up that year. People forget that. Sooness yeah. and Pardew as options. Pulis, 
was Pulis, did he have a huge impact in the fact that we had the long throws? Mm. We had, we're seeing four centre backs now with Man City. Mm. Was that, pu- was that Pulis? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, Bielsa, Ben Roberts wanted in there. Chris Wilder with the overlapping fullbacks. Was that a huge impact? Thomas Tuchel made it in there. Uh, De Zerbi, yeah. too recent. Has he done enough? Has he been impactful enough to get even get on the list? This is, you know, Premier League greats we've got here. Not for me. Not for me, says Ferran. Not for me. Okay. Yeah, he has made a bit I of like an impact, him. though. I feel like Pep might have... Did, did a little pitch Thomas there, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. He is the impacted, not the impactee. Mm-hmm. Who? De Zerbi? De Zerbi, yeah. <laughs> he oh, the, oh, really? Yeah. Because of Pep? Because of Pep. Okay. Who was impacted by Bielsa. Interesting. You see what I'm it, it, Who he, is, is, he is the ripple. He is the rippled. <laughs> right. <laughs> he just got rippled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Pochettino, Kirbishley chucked in there. Kirbishley was a little bit hard done by. I quite like that shout. Probably yes. before your time, guys. But no. Charlton, for because I think this is an important thing to remember, right? Mm. There's impact in a positive way, but there's an impact overall. Now, we're going to get to the tier list in a second. But so there's two names. League. Because there's two names in particular mm. who I think have had an unbelievable impact, incredibly positive, but have also had such an impact negatively as well, which is why I, I put them right up there. Because I think a lot of people just think it's Pep. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's not Pep for me. Mm. Spoiler. Okay. Uh, Pardew for the dance. Nigel Pearson. Oh, yes. That's a good That's a good one. We have got Ranieri yes. in here. Um, Scott Parker somehow on this tweet. I, think, I presume that's a joke. Um, Unai Emery didn't make it on the list, did he? No. No. He's in the draft. He's in, he's in the draft. Yeah, that's right. And uh, Neil Warnock as well. Uh, so lots of names. No, no Vyash Bosch mentioned? There was a Vyash Bosch mentioned for inverted f- um, wingers. First, the first guy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, I don't think he did that much, he, if he, I'm honest. He, didn't the next he get sacked for Di Matteo? He was meant to be the next Mourinho. Where Chelsea won the Champions League. Yeah, this the is first that's one. He, also, he also got sacked for Just Pochettino, yeah. who Spurs <laughs> went on to. So. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Okay, we'll get this. Impacts there. <laughs> So, okay, we've got a whole list of, uh, of, of managers here and we've cool. got some outside ripples. Um, but I think criteria-wise, I sort of had a little play on the train with the tier list. You like <laughs> your heads out of the gut. <laughs> Disgusting. Public mate. transport, <laughs> James. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, and uh, what I did initially was like, I kind of put it into like where I would put it anyway. <laughs> so that's awful. And then, and, then, and then I sort of moved some bits down to the bottom to, to make it look nice. <laughs> okay. So, um, so, but it's tough. But I was thinking about like long standing impact it's hard it's nuanced this <laughs> god stop oh. saying hard <laughs> right okay where do you want to start go on Fuad you can pick one Ooh, okay let's get it out of the way I want to look at some of those no impactors I can see right there oh, okay. who are you thinking is a no impact yeah well, I tell you what, we'll go around and we'll place I mean, I we'll, got it here. we'll place them along and yeah, then from there we can kind of we can wiggle I am immediately looking at Brendan Rodgers has no impact. What what is his lasting impact in the Premier League? Okay. Did he So where you where would you like to put him? Remember this no is a impact. podcast. That Liverpool <laughs> no team. Impact. That Liverpool team. No impact. With Brendan Rodgers had no play, impact. Bring Raheem Sterling into the first team really. Was it him or Doug Leach, was it? That Liverpool him never in? benefited from that. Football did. Raheem Sterling is I, I mean, I club. Is Raheem Sterling the club of football? Well, he's one of England's best players in our generation. You, is, you're dying on the. I think he's done more than that. That's what I'm, <laughs> I think. Oh, he's yeah. done more than fine reams. No, that's, that's, I'm so saying I'm that's the first one I can Swansea, think of my head. Swansea took over from played Loudrop. Good, played good football there. Work. Or well, Loudrop did really well. But, so, but before Loudrop was not Martinez. Yes. Martinez, so, Brendan. Yeah. And then Loudrop. And then Loudrop, yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't Brendan really did a like great he job. Built, at... He built that, though, in my opinion. It was like a culmination of a few managers. Then I look at Liverpool, the next step. Klopp pretty much threw away everything Brendan did to start from scratch and build his team. And then I look at after that, Leicester, Celtic. you could say. Leicester, Leicester won the Leicester, FA Cup. But they, won, but they won the bigger trophy Premier League before that. So it's like right. the Premier League could have been the ripple effect. He got shadowed. You say he got, he got, sh- okay. So yeah. so I'm, I'm everywhere saying he, went. he hasn't made the mark. Yeah. He's so, always been the follower. And of course, some, some might say that the uh, department store, John Lewis is actually the person to blame for Gerard's slip and not Brendan Rogers because mm. during his early days managing at Reading, it's reported that his role as a youth coach uh, was not enough to support his young family. 
or his desire for new teeth. But he was able to sustain his family, that's unfair, um, by combining his role with a job at John Lewis. This extra employment allowed him to stay in football and continue to work his way up at Reading, where he became academy director and the rest is history. I think, I think Brendan Rodgers has had a, quite a heavy impact I in several so. ways. Because at Liverpool, the Gerrard slip doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. If he's not, if he doesn't galvanise that group and get them going. That Gerrard slip is enormous. And it, and and it I, is massive. I found myself when I was doing this, I, Gerard, when I was looking at the Liverpool stuff, Gerard, I kept going, coming, coming back to Gerard somehow. So from that point of view, made a, played a big part, was the manager during Suarez's you know, racism, yeah. biting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of different things there. Record breaking. Record breaking. <laughs> and um, did he set up the squad for any any element of success for Klopp, or you're saying he's totally no, red? Okay, we'll, we'll bring him down one. Yeah. So, the, but no then Leicester, impact. both getting the FA Cup to and complete the set for Leicester City fans, complete the game, and then Almost getting them top. relegated essentially. Yeah, but that's impact. That is impact. <laughs> It is in fact. This is where it gets confusing. This yeah. is where it gets yeah, this is, this is a, the this lines are a little bit blurred. Yeah. Because I feel like it's in the Premier League, he's had an impactful time in the Premier League. If you're combining uh, Swansea, Liverpool, and Leicester, he has been impactful in the Premier League and how the Premier League, a little bit okay. maybe, in how the Premier League is shaped now. If he won that League of Liverpool, I mean, no, the fact that he didn't win the League of Liverpool and he fumbled it at the end mm-hmm. made Liverpool's. Klopp's era more sweet. Hungry. Because if, if, yeah. if Klopp came into Liverpool <laughs> and Brendan Rodgers had already won it, it's not like, oh, Klopp didn't get them their first that win. drought isn't there. Brendan Rodgers not winning it and fumbling it at the end made such an impact for right. when Klopp did win. I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to do the maths here. That's the thing, you see, because I see eight for no impact. So we've got a few of the slots. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, right, trying yeah, to look, I'm looking at right, some of these right. other things. I'm thinking, <laughs> it's going to be hard. <laughs> right. He's probably had the least impact, if anything. I, yeah, I think I think no impact feels harsh. Let's 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 give him... Um, Average. Uh, let's give him some people to work around. Yeah. Okay. Right? Because we can move, the, move it around. Uh, I see Big Sam staring at me there. How do we feel about Sam Allardyce? Uh, Kai, have you got any stats on Sam? Obviously, managed a lot of different clubs yep. um if he doesn't get caught out then we don't have gareth southgate but is, should saying. we be giving him that <laughs> should we be giving him that you know impact is it hey yeah. hey oh, gareth southgate got england to a final uh, and, I mean, and the semi-final some might say that gareth southgate hasn't had the impact that he should have had i think he's brought through a lot of players but he hasn't won he ain't won nothing yet <laughs> Um, he's done a great job. He kept a lot of teams up. He's done a better job than almost than everyone else that we've had since '66. So. I, f- yeah. I feel like he was almost the first template of having the eleven man team that are six foot plus bullies. Big Sam. The Big Sam. He okay. set the template for that. I felt like in the Premier League, the Portsmouth followed it up afterwards. He's definitely had impact Stoke. in the Premier League for sure. Yeah. He's had impact in the Premier League. This is Big Sam here. Yeah. This is a Premier League legendary I, manager. I th- okay, right. I think we're getting lost a little bit here because I think. Okay, I'm gonna let's leave Sam for now. Right. I think we need to. Who is clearly, Not clearly impact. impactful? Sharky, look at that list. Who's definitely in the top two? Who's very impactful or most impactful or okay impactful? Arsene Wenger. Arsene Wenger. I agree. Definitely impactful. Arsene Wenger. Not most. Could be very impactful for sure though. I think, I think what we do is we get ourselves... I'm struggling with this computer. I say, I move Arsene. <laughs> <laughs> He's not trying to move. I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm not uh, moving from my seat. <laughs> so I think Arsene, once we get to move him there... I think he's at the very least very impactful, and I think if we get ourselves th- three within very impactful as our nominees, mm. we can then decide then we can move one down. Set the yeah. That's it. This is not my first tier list. He's a big advocate for kickins. There we go. Yes, for kickins, is he? Yeah, he well, is. there you go. So look, he's one of your very own. I think <laughs> certainly very impactful. Yeah. For again, I think the really interesting thing here with Arsene Wenger, and let's let's talk Fergie briefly now. Cool. Because both of them came in. And change the game, right? But both either outstayed their welcome, it feels like, yeah, yeah, with yeah. Wenger, right? Sure. Or lost, or sorry, left a bit of a void there, mm-hmm. Man United, where they have never recovered. Yeah. So I don't think we're there yet with Man United, obviously, because he won so much. But is there an argument to suggest with Wenger that if... Uh, Arsenal a huge club. Mm-hmm. We're always going to be a huge club, right? Mm. Do you think... 
if you'd not had <laughs> Wenger yeah. and you'd won those things and then stuck with him a little bit too long, yep. would you have had more success overall? Would you have figured it out sooner with a different person? Like Chelsea, for example, where they ran through a, a few managers, but they sort of had the money to kind no, of solve because, it. Because Chelsea haven't had that that stadium change. Like, all of that stuff, I think... I think we would have. It's just it would have been what United is now if Wenger left in two thousand and eight, for example. So I think maybe now we start to get good again if Wenger left in two thousand and eight when people are saying he should have left, because we had the stadium change. Yeah. Every year we lost our best player, mm -hmm. whether it was Fabregas one year, Nasri the next year, the Bayer, Van Persie, Persie the year Sanya. after that. So every year we lost our best player, and we were still in and around. Obviously, no one are competing, but top four, you know, top three, top yeah. four. Uh, I don't think anyone else would have done as good as a job as Wenger. And it's funny because I think Wenger did his best work the second half of his uh, time at Arsenal. Obviously, trophy... Yeah, that, I, I was going to say, there's I an mean, argument to be made that actually he did an incredible job. But he did, but he did, yeah, he did no live money. long enough to see himself become a villain, for sure. For sure. But I don't think anyone else would have done as good as a job. Because yeah. then we would have been... Uh, Hiring a sack and hiring a sacking, which would have then been like Chelsea. Oh, forget Chelsea. Chelsea have been successful doing that. Everton. Uh, Seamus Coleman has played under 12 Everton managers. And Everton still stink. You know, that would have been Arsenal if we got rid of Wenger. <laughs> Fifth most XG in the league. <laughs> <laughs> Start catching them in. Fair Start play. catching them in. You know, you know, Kai, put that in the, Kai put that in the running order for the last pod and we didn't get to it. So he's just crowbarred it yeah. into this pod to make sure it's more there. than Man City. More Start than Man City. Cashing. We know, we know, we know. Okay, so what I'll do is we put three in the very impactful. Yeah. Because I think, look, obviously, Wenger, Fergie, Pep. For sure. Huge, right? Huge, huge, huge. Um, there is something to be said about Pep, but we'll save that for later on. Okay, so they're very, very impactful as a three. Who's impactful, Fuad? I mean, you're missing them. I'm looking at one in particular. Yeah, you're missing the big one there as well. I'm looking at Antonio Conte. Oh, I was Ooh, thinking, uh, I was thinking yeah, another okay. Chelsea. I want to <laughs> speak on Antonio Conte. Yeah, go on. And his three at the back system. But, but before you do... <laughs> Go for it. That was that's Arsenal. That's because of Arsenal. Don't. Go on. Bro, don't it's about impact. It's about impact. It's about ripple effects. Don't do this. It's about ripple effects. Explain yourself. Yes or no, right? Explain yourself. That's, was that Arsene Wenger? That was Arsene Wenger. Was it? Or Emery? One of them two. Hmm. I can't remember what year, what year was it when Conte won the league? 2016. 17, 18. 17, 18. It was Wenger then. It was yeah. Wenger. It's Arsene, Arsene Wenger's impact. Doing because Chelsea didn't have a great start to the season. Mm -hmm. They played Arsenal. We smoked them 3 0. Right? It's a ripple effect. That's what the show is called. Yeah. We beat them 3 0. Yeah. When we beat them 3 0, that's when Conte said, hey, I need to rip this up, change tactics. Then he went to three at the back. Then they won the league. They wouldn't have changed that if we didn't smoke them 3 0. What I'll say in that response to that. Yes or no? Yes, correct. They went to three at the back after losing 3 0 to Arsenal. Why I say I'll refer it back to Conte? He had that system at UV. Before Chelsea. Yeah, but he didn't play Bar it. Chelsea. He didn't activate it until we lost 3 0 to Arsenal. I agree. Because what he was doing then was let me give these guys, you've been winning a certain way. Let's try your method. Yeah. Once that doesn't work, and you guys highlighted it. So you yeah. can say, yeah, you were definitely a rippler. But I feel like Conte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be time, on the I'm making it a term. I'm got, coining I, it. I, 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 yeah. I, I, we log all of these for years and down the road. He definitely got rippled. Yeah. So for me, I think he. That three at the back system, till now, the Zerbi is still playing it. I, I, I feel like the Euros you mentioned earlier as well. And I didn't see many teams playing three at the back before Conte did that year, before Conte was playing at Juve. I can't recall it unless you guys can. Oh, look, he stepped up and he did very well there, right? But when you're looking at the, all those other managers there, I think Conte, I think if you've got another manager there at Chelsea, so this is a thing, and fans will get annoyed at me for this. I think sometimes it's like, what impact can you make with the tools that you have, you know, um, with you or the ingredients you've mm -hmm. got, right? I think if Conte, say Conte isn't hired as the manager, another manager comes in, it would have been a really good manager mm -hmm. and they would have done quite well. But they wouldn't have won the title. <sighs> and like, Chelsea haven't won a title since. Okay. And what I will say is that, but, three, at right, back, that but, three at the back system also created the foundations for Juve to win the title 10 years in a row or nine years in a row, if I'm not mistaken. But this and is the guess, Premier League. Yeah. Okay. I know. But guess who broke that cycle as well? When he went back to Inter. With that same three at the back system. Did my impact in the Premier League? What about, okay. did this, he is, this is Spurs, man. Just Spurs <laughs> managers. I did really bad, by the way. Yeah. Did he leave a long-lasting legacy at Chelsea? No, because I don't think so. Because Chelsea have had so many managers, and um, they won the league with. 
uh, Angelotti as well. I, I, I wouldn't put him anywhere Maria. near past average impact when you've got the likes. Like, who's done a better... So, Ranieri. Ranieri has had... So, you're talking about one season wonder, really, aren't you? With Conte. Because he's not done well yeah. at Tottenham. Yeah. Ranieri, I think, is higher yeah. than him. Chelsea as well. Ranieri's, you think Ranieri's definitely Ranieri's... higher than him. Yeah. Chelsea... He was the manager before Mourinho, wasn't he? Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? He didn't he bring actually. in Lampard? Didn't he promote Lampard and all that stuff? Yeah. Like, and does what, does Ranieri? If Ranieri's the manager of Conte uh, of Chelsea that year that Conte's there, and you give him a three-year deal, does he win you a title? I think he wins the league. It gets you something. Chelsea, no, he won the league. He won the league the year before. He won the league on pizzas, man. Come on, <laughs> I'm not having this. <laughs> Ranieri, forget that then. Ranieri <laughs> single-handedly allows us all to believe that anything is possible. No, I, that I, is I some agree with real that. Real impact. Conte makes us want to stop watching football. Facts, facts, facts. facts. <laughs> and that's an impact. <laughs> I hear that, but it's not the impact I want. And so I'm not putting Ranieri below him. No, Ranieri has a higher impact in Premier League no, history I agree. than I agree. Antonio Conte. I agree for with sure. That. Okay, I agree for with sure. Because it's like, and and you know, what? I think having heard the cases, I think. Uh, average impact is fair for content. Thank you. I think it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> maybe the thing is, I really like the three at the back. How teams have gone on to use it since. Yeah, but it's been adapted. But it's and that's what I was going to say. It's, it's very different from how it. he's using yeah. it. And yet, so I saw a tweet. Someone saying Brian Little at Aston Villa. He got the he got um, Aston Villa into the top four playing a back three before it was cool. Oh, see. Mm. So, you know, Conte's just been copying Brian Little this whole and time. And even if we go far, farther back, I know it's not Premier League, Herbert Chapman for Arsenal. The WM <laughs> formation in the, 90, in the 1920s or whatever. <laughs> the, du- the WM formation. <laughs> we have three at the back. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> let's, uh, I want to chuck out, let's Mancini. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is start him at very impactful. Yeah, I think he's a good one. Sorry, at impactful. Yeah. And then we, then we move. We start okay. in the middle, then we move. I can I chuck this out? Similar similar thread. Okay, the Aguero moments, yeah, very start, impressive, right? Started there. And you could say he puts on Jeco, blah 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 blah. Jeco's there. Jeco, unbelievable. Man City have outrageous riches. Would have won the league, maybe not in that scenario. They but won. but you remember Aguero? For me, Mancini is just a fortunate Pellegrini in the mm. sense that. He got, he had a more memorable moment when he won the sure. league. And of course it was the first one and he did very well. He's done incredible for, for Italy. That is absolutely yep. amazing in terms of winning Saturday the Euros. But we're talking happen. Premier League here. Yep. And therefore, I, although the Aguero moment he is part of, I'm, I'm hinting at no impact. Ah, uh, hear me uh, out, bro. Go on, please. Because I'm, I'm with him right there where he Are just ended that. I'm with you, you because... Because this is a tough tier list. It's this is tough. a tough and tier. Eight list. people have to go. And there. eight so people are going to be brutal. We're going to have to be ruthless. So I know anyone would have won the league. We must. Anyone would have put Jekyll on. Anyone would have put Balotelli on. But what we're forgetting is what Man City are being investigated over are his wages. Wow. Mm. So he could be the, the reason or part of the reason that Man City get a to lose league all back. of them. Yeah. That's a big impact. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that might be um, most impactful. <laughs> but you're that's that's a great that's amazing. But but what I would say is we have to work within the confines of now. What's Testicles been found? Yeah, today. <laughs> and I, I agree. Certainly, if if this is a day after that, we're popping him right near the top. Yeah, for sure. Because he's essentially. He's both become a Question ruined, mark. but then maybe with an element of redemption. Yeah, he's, an anti-hero. <laughs> he's an anti-hero. But just currently, to, no impact for me. Just to play devil's advocate, though, Go does him not build in the foundation to what City have become now? Because essentially, the winning started with him. The first FA Cup, the first Premier League, yep. the Carabao. Mm. So what City are now, what Pep has started with him, is that not an impact? He essentially put City on the map. Let I... I think we put that. That's a discussion for the end. That's a discussion for the end. Yeah, leave, I, leave him there for I now. I want to see yeah. how many people can get there. Then we move. Yeah, yeah, then we yeah, move yeah. Out, right. Okay. 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 Let's. I tell you what. Let's 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 run through a few, and we'll say why, and we won't argue it, and then we can argue it at the end. Okay. okay. Yeah. So uh, I'll go first. Um, I'm gonna put Harry. I was waiting for that one. Yes. <laughs> Do you want Harry? I love it. Let's go. Okay. Where are you putting him? So Harry does. We we me and Kai were chatting about this and. I was saying he did change Bale and his position, which led to 
him being unbelievable, Nine which months. led to him going to Real Madrid, yep. which led to them winning Champions League. Yes. That said, with these managers that we're seeing here right now, I think I initially would just pop them in no impact. Oh, no impact. What about Rio Ferdinand? What about West Ham and Frank Lampard? Who said Frank Lampard was going right to the very He'll top? He'll go right to the very top, he will. You think of it. But, but is that... Is he just... Is he actually... He's just a good uncle. <laughs> yeah. Is he just... Fort- <laughs> is it Mancini? The Mancini <laughs> syndrome, where essentially he was just sort of watching it. Took like, up. what? You're not going to put Rio Ferdinand in that West Ham team? Or uh, Lampard? Like, I, he, all he was really doing was revealing Karen, to well, people right, that we've got a good academy here and he's going to play. And That's you're so, giving. I would say something about putting Harry Redknapp in no impact in Premier League no, doesn't sit right with that. me. We'll, doesn't sit right. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Let's go around because we need to get a few down here. We need to get a few down. Doesn't sit right with me. It's okay. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Right, right. Sharky, it Ben Johnny. <laughs> Sh- come on. <laughs> go on. No one come said on Ben Johnny for the last four years. <laughs> right. It's a great story. Though. I love it is a great story. Um, Sharky, go on. You make your pick. Make your statement, and we will move through a few, and then we'll start. Let me. Have a look, all right. Impactful. Okay, so who have we got here? The thing is, where does Jose Mourinho sit? You tell me, Sharky. Where does Jose Mourinho sit? Because he came into the Premier League after being a Champions League winner of Porto. He, till now, he's got a record that hasn't been achieved, which is a defensive record of Chelsea. So he's come into the Premier League, he's impacted the records, and it still hasn't been able to be touched. He's built. Oh, that Chelsea team so well. He's definitely and it, even just how he is as, as as a character as a personality, he's his his interviews will forever be remembered. Like on the pitch and off the pitch, he's been very impactful in the Premier League. Right? I think he if we look if we've got Ranieri and impactful, he's either got to be with him or higher. Okay. Come back to the Premier League, won the league again. Oh God. He can't be average impact for sure. He can't be sat there with. Conte and and Brendan Rodgers, and he destroys teams on the way out. I love it. That's, that's impactful. impactful. Yeah. That's impactful. <laughs> that is impactful. I love slams. I love how door. that's become like a plus. <laughs> <laughs> and he destroyed the whole fabric yeah. of the club. <laughs> Boop. No, <Literally>, but <laughs> <man, laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> he's managed three of the top six Premier League teams. How many managers have done that? That's pretty solid. You know? And he is the main character. Isn't and he is a main character. He came as an like, special one. That is just it's that solid. line it's deserves solid. for him to be in one of the most impactful managers in the. Premier I think. I think there's a. Yeah, I think we can have a debate. We'll come back to that. I think there's a debate for putting him in with Wenger and Fergie and Pep. I can have a, we'll have a conversation. Um, Fuad, where, you, where are we going? And who are we going to? I am going to Jurgen Klopp. And I'm going impactful. I think you look at what he's done at Liverpool. It's obviously changed 30 years of history. Drought he's ended brought the six Champions League. Now he's kind of evolving it part two, if you like. Um, yeah, I think that rock and roll kind of Geigen pressing from the front football that we saw in his first year as well has kind of become a bit synonymous with the Premier League over the past couple of years. You see him in City kind of really setting the tempo of how teams play, but I think a lot more people would rather watch Liverpool's kind of style of play, but yeah. Pep was terrified of him. Yeah. Mm. Pep was mm. terrified. That 100 point season, even when they were winning, terrified. Pep, yeah. Something's, ha- to be perfect something's happening there as well, I'm telling you. Something's happening. Like, me- I've said numerous times that I, my gut feeling was it's not about this year, it's about next year. Mm-hmm. Next season, I think it's going to be fire. Like, I, I think wait. everyone's going to get their, get themselves sorted out. I think it's going to be outrageous. Okay. Gerard Houllier. Mm. Rest in peace. Oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> Yeah, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> you just made him change the category completely. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Go no, on, James. No, impact, You're gonna be a bad no, guy. No, I think Gerard, uh, Gerard. I just, I know, I just wanted to flag up Gerard Julia. Rest in peace. Um, <laughs> Eddie Howe. <laughs> I, I love this. You made him change it completely. <laughs> I'm just leaving him to you, Sharky. I'm leaving it to you. <laughs> Put that on me, man. <laughs> wow. Who's doing um, Bobby Robson? There's the guilt, there's the guilt trip. There's the guilt trip. Um, um, anyhow. Okay, Eddie. Finish this quick before it. Roy Hodgson. Yes. Mm. Guy. Mm. Shocking. Eddie Howe. He's, nah, he's fighting fit. All right. Uh, Eddie Howe, right. Now, some people might kind of turn the nose up at Eddie Howe here. I, I wanted him in there because, like, Bournemouth 
We're like we're, we're a League Two club, like my or League One, League Two club. My whole life, mm-hmm. and okay, they've had they have had investment, but not to the same extent mm. of others. And he has completely changed their dreams and aspirations. And then he's gone to Newcastle, and I believe that with that squad, I think it's outrageous what he's done. Incredible Absolutely job. outrageous. And who knows where they could go next. So I I think he's in a difficult group here and he may have to move. But I would put him with, <laughs> after all that, you've got to do all that for average impact. I'm putting him in yeah. average impact. Yeah, I mean, I can't see him going anywhere higher because impact in the Premier League. Yeah. Like That's even even those that you're talking about, it's an impact in League Two, League One, Championship, and then he gets to the Premier League, but didn't do much after that. I felt like and yeah. Newcastle, you could say the impact there and getting them to the Champions League for the first time in a while. Mm. That's great impact. But even then, I'd say how much of an impact really is that now? If he ends Newcastle's trophy drought, average. Impact. I mean, he could, bro, they just they just got they they just <laughs> got moment, to, but they just got to the League Cup final. Um, oh my god, this tier list is fucking doing my Champions head in. I'm so sorry. Champions League football, so frustrated. Just beat PSG, smoked them. <laughs> I mean, is a result. Jason is, impact, is a single result impact? I would say no impact personally. But no so, impact. Yeah. Okay. I just don't think he's done enough, in my opinion. Bournemouth. Okay, you had an impact at that club in particular, mm. but what did it mean to the Premier League in totality? What oh. did the, 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 where was the ripple outside of Bournemouth? If that makes sense. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. And then with he Newcastle, ma- you could say there's a bit of an impact there, but I still don't feel like it's enough, in okay. my opinion, especially when you compare to the names that we call there. Yeah, I, yeah, he may he may struggle here. Okay, well, six yeah. there's six spots there in average impact. Let's keep going. Uh, <sighs> Fuad, who, who are you going for? I want to go Carlo Ancelotti. Okay. And say no impact. Yeah, I hear it. I think his spell at Everton was a little bit underwhelming. I do think, obviously, with it's Chelsea... Again. He won that great 0-9-10 season. Has it? <laughs> what is going on? Has that happened again? Is, is it something I'm pressing? Look, now it's moving. Oh, yeah, right, yeah there it is. <laughs> right, I, will, I will persevere from now on. <laughs> Go on. Say Ancelotti. But pick up Ancelotti. Do again. Ancelotti, I would say, for me, just his Everton spell was very underwhelming. Mm-hmm. I remember at Chelsea, what was it, 0-9-10? <laughs> I remember the first six games of that season, yeah, where they looked like title <laughs> contenders. Pick the team of the season. 25th of Calvert October. Lewin. Was, Kai's got his wallpaper Listen, on his left leg. I remember when he knocked us out of the cuff as well, slurping his hot suit. He was yeah. like, there were certain moments he had there, but it just wasn't enough for me. That I is felt, minimal. Yeah. <laughs> six Games. At Chelsea, Literally. was it? Um, he won the title in the 0-9-10 season. He won the and double. He won the double. Yeah, he won the double. Yeah, yeah. And it was a they great one. Well. Drogba having his incredible year as well. Mm. But I don't know how much ripple came off that. Yeah, I feel Chelsea, like any quality Chelsea manager could yeah, have been in that position, Chelsea, and they yeah, would have still they won. Want, it. They they chop and change managers so much that it's like, apart from Mourinho, maybe none of them had a big impact in the totality of Chelsea because they would finish 10th and then win the league the next year, win mm-hmm. the Champions League the next year. Like, it, So Ancelotti, I think, yeah, as Chelsea manager, he's done, he did well there, but as an impact in the Premier League in total, and I think we have to put another six guys in here, so I think he's got to go no impact. I think the the problem we're finding here is if you're a manager of a like club that's won things, mm. you will probably be in the shadow of the top dog of that. Exactly. And so Mourinho, Wenger... Fergie, and now Pep. Pep. Yeah, yeah. You're just gonna. The, you're just the, in the, the shadow. scary thing is though, if this was football in general, Ancelotti would be right up there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and this, that's where the screenshot yeah. gets created. <laughs> um, right, right Sharky. <laughs> Sharky, check out one in there. Uh, King Kenny. What do you think of King Kenny? Kenny's tricky, right? Because won the league. yeah, won the league with Blackburn. Blackburn. Um, Man did have four. money. Yeah. Did have a lot of money. And it was one of those where, okay, it wasn't... So you had Jack Walker, and Jack Walker was like like a mini Abramovich, not in the sense, in terms of the amount of money in comparison to others. Yep. So he was able to buy a lot of good players and put together a great team. And and so they were then able to attract someone like mm-hmm. Dal Gleish. So although it is Blackburn, it's not what Leicester did. Yeah. yeah. Because... He he did bankroll it a little bit, although again, even saying that, he sort of bankrolled it on a on a few players and then probably overpaid for a few other players. Um, it was still an incredible achievement. Obviously, did well with Liverpool prior to that. Came back, bought Suarez, Henderson, 
Henderson, yeah. Andy Carroll, yeah. Andy Carroll. <laughs> and, and of course Andy Carroll. Still down here? No, um, but that's impactful. Hen- you, Jordan Henderson. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's an impact. Mm. It's yeah. a big First impact. Captain. Big do, do, do Liverpool have their success without Jordan Jordan Henderson? Uh, I say, listen, I think no, no. Mm. I think they do. Yes. <laughs> I think we're on I it. think they do. Yes. So, I, I like Hendo. I'm, but. I'm a Hendo fan. I have, I have a Hendo side shirt. <laughs> okay. Right, right. After back him, but listen, it, Henderson's very important to that team. No, I agree. People underrate him. So where, where, where are you putting him? Come on. Average impact. Average impact. I th- yeah. I think the problem with Kenny is that he, and it's happening. <laughs> there we go. With Kenny is that he's a god. Yeah, for, and so he, we've for, got to, for, if for we can fans. strip that away, I think he may struggle as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm up, aren't I? Okay, go for it. Okay, no impact. <laughs> Kevin Keegan. <laughs> I love it. In this class <laughs> of of managers, he didn't he didn't win anything. No, he's you know he had he had good vibes, but he kind of like. Like as the party got, you know, got later into the night, he got a bit cranky. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, he was that guy. Who's like, I want to go home now. Yeah. He turned into that. Um, and dare I say it? Uh oh. He was a quitter. Yeah. Fully agree. Mm. One mm. of the few things I've always thought about him from when the Newcastle first spell, how he didn't really see that through after the kind of title collapse, then took over City. And I felt like didn't really see that through. Stuart Pearce came in after him. I England. remember as well. England, uh, saw jump shit with Fulham as well. Back as well. Yeah, it was just. I, I always felt like he never sees things through, and it's almost petulant. Actually, forgive me. I think with Fulham, he went to England from that. But yeah, I think I think part of that is because he's quite an emotional guy, mm-hmm. and that was why you liked him as a manager. Mm. But amongst these guys, he is he feels miles off. Oh, for <laughs> sure, for he's sure. Do well. In 2023, because of the word you said there, vibes. People get a lot of extra credit because of vibes. Oh, yeah. Do you sure. think? I yeah. think he I, gets I swallowed up. I think he gets swallowed up because I don't think you can be him anymore. I mm. think you have to be so tactical. Right. And I think he would also um, get rattled. Yeah. Yeah, I would get rattled so <laughs> by the social media era as well. I oh. mean, I, I obviously, I didn't, I missed most of Kevin Keegan's manager of career but from what I know of him Newcastle love, would love it if we beat them all yeah. that stuff but yeah. but they, they should have won that they should have won yeah. it that year they yeah. should have won it um, so yeah no impact for me uh, who's next Fuad Thomas Tuchel mm. so a, a late arrival yes. wasn't it initially in our list call it. It, he wasn't there for a long time mm-hmm. he was there for a good six months yeah. <laughs> no he was there for a, yeah, certainly a great initial six months I mean, he's had the equal amount of impact as Roberto Di Matteo, as far as I'm aware. I think a bit more. How so? Because I think Di Matteo was literally like, he didn't manage the team, the players managed themselves. The senior players. Right. The Lampards, the Drogba's, the Terry's, they won, right. They managed that Champions League mm-hmm. win. I they won the lottery as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. But like, I think Tuchel was more involved. of an impactful manager involved in that Chelsea win and after as well, I think. So for for Chelsea, I agree. Yeah. But then in terms of what impact did that have on the Premier League, I don't think. Yeah, much. I think I agree. Mm. I think I think if we look over the last eighteen months, I don't think there's been a more impactful manager or twenty four months than Thomas Tuchel in terms of the ripple effects mm. of, yeah. of what he's provided in terms of, you know, pot, like he's kind of ruined Potter's career. <laughs> like yeah. he's like the amount of change that's happened there. Right. Um, going to Bayern Munich. Um, there's another one, Nagelsmann, I guess, as well, right? If he's not available, does Nagelsmann get the sack? Mm. Uh, and if Nagelsmann's not available, does Nagelsmann not go yeah. to Germany? Yeah. Um, and of course, him coming in as well, he, you know, on the pitch. I think him and Dimitri, it's interesting the Dimitri thing. In the Premier League, you're, you're, you're right, because yeah. they were in the Champions League, he left. They were no better off or wor- worse off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? True. True. So I think. So true. it's just outside of that Champions League win, which is in the Champions League, mm. and for Chelsea sold. But if it were impact, he came in if it's and about did impact, something. Do yeah. you reckon 
his points last season saved Chelsea. Wow. No <laughs> what? You know <laughs> what? Nice. Impact. You nice. might have just yeah. spun it round. <laughs> <That's> impact. <laughs> yeah. we, we, on, the, on the pod with Flav, we, we have a thing called epic reframes. Oh, yeah. And that is an epic <laughs> reframe. That's what I'm saying. Like, Thomas Tickle saved Chelsea from relegation. That's that an is impact. It? That is definitely an impact. <laughs> last and if that, does Bowley take over if they're in a the championship? Well, no, I mean, it was because Burnley took over that they bought all those players that they're nearly yeah. in the championship, mm, right? Yeah, true. So they not they didn't get on. Yeah, Burnley that, took over, that's why he left. Yeah. He didn't get on. He Pochettino's yeah. not on this list, by the way. And and kind of because he sort of, although he did well with Tottenham, it sort of did anything actually truly Come off change? Bit, yeah. No. no. Um, mm, with I Tuchel, mm. Put I, pressure on. Ah, it's tricky. Right. You could sneak in an average impact because of a Champions League, which, which they had no right to win. Mm -hmm. Never in a million years. No. Let's both put, both let's, the Champions League wins that no right to win, to be fair. Let's put him there for now. And uh, let's, Sharky, we've got a few few old boys left. Gerard Houllier? Where you been? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think, I think it's got to be one of the bottom two categories. Uh, obviously, has he managed any other Premier team apart from Liverpool? Ooh, Villa, Villa, Villa. Oh, Villa. He didn't manage Villa. Was it Man City? No, Villa. Villa. Oh. Villa, yeah. The yeah, last yeah. team he managed was Villa. Yeah. Villa. He finished After in 2011. Yeah. Villa. So, I mean... He had a solid time yeah, at Liverpool. Yeah, the young Gerard, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, he won the treble. Yeah. You won Michael Owen. Yeah. He won a domestic treble. Mm, the me oh, that treble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, Michael three trophies are three trophies. Three trophies yes, yeah. treble. Michael Owen's Ballon d'Or. Uh, first yeah, yeah. English player. Listen, Liverpool were, Liverpool were good. And then they beat us in the cup final. Mm -hmm. I remember now. I remember mm -hmm. now. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, was it the Rafa Benitez come straight after him? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so let's. What about both of those? You have got Rafa Benitez and Gerard Houllier. Yeah, direct. I would. I would hint at the idea that. I'd say Houllier had a bigger impact than Benitez. Do you for Liverpool? I don't know for the Premier League. For the Premier League, I don't know. For Liverpool, maybe. I'd say so. It's I might a, be with you. I think How, Benitez maybe took on after what Julia built and impacted. Right. I guess it's like you how know? much are we allowing European football to bleed into this? Do you know what I mean? Because cause I would suggest... So, Gerard Julio won a European trophy. Amazing final. Yep. Um, Alaves, I think it was. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it finished. I want to say 5-4 five, five, or something like that. Yeah, no, it's tight. It went yeah, to extra yeah, yeah. time. And um, Gary McAllister was like on fire. Yeah. Like, it was bizarre. Um, and they, an FA Cup, they beat Arsenal. Yep. Again, they probably shouldn't have won. No. But Owen was on fire. But Benitez, and if you... This is the other one where I came back to Gerard. Gerard's Gerard, regardless, right. under Julio. Right, but with Benitez, if he doesn't bring on Didi Hammer uh -huh. and they don't win that Champions League, Gerard, does Gerard stay if they don't win the Champions League? Good question. That goes to Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, he goes to Chelsea, I think. So if he goes because they didn't win it, and that's kind of that will be kind of because of Rafa Benitez. Mm. So either way, <laughs> kind of Benitez, I think probably had a, a bigger impact. Because Gerard's not Gerard if you don't have 2005 and 2006. Yeah, and Gerard's not Gerard if he doesn't stay at Liverpool. And does the fact that Newcastle. Does the fact that he introduced Gerard into the squad make him more impactful? So this is a bit like Redknapp, where I, I would suggest that some players are undeniable. You can't ignore, yeah. So I would... <laughs> I was going to put I was gonna put Julio no impact. No, I, I, okay. said, I said it's one of the bottom God two rest categories. Him. I, yeah, I said it's one of the bottom two categories regardless. So... I think that point you made with I know the Champions League is in the Premier League, I would have but both there. that Champions League, yeah, I would have mm -hmm. both there. With Benitez, they almost put the That's cherry on top. He almost relegated us on top of it. <laughs> yeah, yes, he did. <laughs> Anyone would struggle at it. Newcastle kept Newcastle in the league. Fifth most XG. <laughs> It'll be first in the championship. You can enjoy that. With, um, <laughs> so uh, okay, let's let's wiggle it on uh, a little bit, right? So you've got good against Benitez, us. Benitez, and Bobby Robson, right? Yeah. So Newcastle went through a lot of. Rubbish, right? Yep. Without Bobby Robson 20 years ago... See, Bobby Robson is another one, but I think I struggle. Although, I was, and this is Premier League era, he actually only managed Newcastle for a brief period of time. They had a great time together. Mm -hmm. um, he was unfairly sacked. Yep. But I think Bobby Robson... The one thing you can give to Bobby Robson is Newcastle sort of fans hung in there like living off Bobby Robson, if that makes sense. Mm. But for me, within this class, that's not enough yeah. to be anywhere apart from no impact. Which yeah, feels sure brutal. It's, it's Premier League, it's got to be no Yeah, impact. it feels brutal. Um, similar to Rafa Benitez, the other thing you would say, he, in terms of uh, them getting uh, bought, mm. 
do do the Saudis look elsewhere if Benitez hasn't got them up, kept them up? Or do you think they would have gone for him anyway? How do you mean? So if Newcastle get relegated, yeah. Benitez uh, was manager then, stayed with them yeah. and got them straight back up. Now, Newcastle are an enormous club, so they probably would have gone back up anyway. But when they went up, they, en they ended up finishing like 13th or whatever, right? Yeah. Mm. And they had a manager that I think certainly galvanised them as a, as a club because they couldn't believe they had Rafa Benitez because of, of the squad so that they had. the Champions League winner. Exactly. And the championship winner, right? So by doing that, that allows you to stay, despite having an owner that you despise, it allows you to stay in the Premier League. Yep. Now, maybe Saudi would have bought them anyway, even if they are, let's say, let's call them Middlesbrough now, yeah. and they're in the championship and sort of... I don't, think, Sunderland, I don't, I don't right? think the Saudis would have bought them before the championship. You don't? No. So then, in terms of impact, Rafa Benitez has got quite an impact there. He does in Newcastle. But he have the Saudis done anything since taking over? We're all projecting on the potential of what they could still do, but Newcastle still technically haven't done anything. They have. They've been to a cup so final Robson and they qualified for the Champions League. BPSG. They've <laughs> qualified for a cha in their first yeah. full season. Look, look at the list. In, in the first full season, they qualified for Champions League and they also got to a cup final. I would suggest that the, 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 road, map, the road map for where Newcastle are going is a more looks more clear in my mind than... Um, Mancini and the uh, allegations and that feels like that could rumble on for quite some time <laughs> yeah. I think the trajectory is pretty feels pretty obvious when it comes to, to those guys I, I because of the money they I have. think based off what you said about the fact that he won the Champions League which led to Gerrard staying which led to that impact of Gerrard in Liverpool and the, the success he's had or the, whatever the non-success he's had partnered with the fact that he got Newcastle promoted and stayed with them and now look where they are now those two points, he can't be in no impact. It's impossible. He can't be in no impact. So at least put him in average impact okay. for sure. Okay. We'll put him in average impact. Okay. Right. Uh, th um, I think, well, look, with the list that we've seen here right now, I think Sam's no impact. Sam Allardyce. It's the same as the same as Harry Redknapp. Put in people like Harry and a Big Sam where they're like, it's been so ever present in my head. Yeah, they probably have no impact. I, doesn't I can't, right I can't, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> right, Kai. Yeah, as an Everton fan, right? He this is a great example, I Go think. On. So he was manager of a lot of different clubs, yeah, right? Yeah. And I reckon the bulk of those clubs fans are, are indifferent to him. I hate him. Does anyone love <laughs> right, him? I hate him. <laughs> Which is okay, it's more of an impact there, but not, not totally what we look. He's not won a major trophy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Which isn't point. everything, which isn't everything, but I think in this list it makes it like tricky. I would put Roy Hodgson above him in a you know, in an impactful list. Um Allardyce, I think generally when, I guess when he's left clubs, have they like completely sunk? Probably. Not completely. Maybe mm. some have like done not as well. Bolton. Bolton being the, definitely definitely one of them. But even with, I mean, Bolton, he was clever in terms of bringing in players and maybe that was his little pocket of time where he was ahead of his time. Mm -hmm. But aside from that, West Ham, he got them back up. Mm -hmm. Does that happen anyway? Maybe, maybe not. Um Palace did fine. Everton did fine. Newcastle mm. did fine. Mm, mm. I think he's no impact. What, how? Yeah. Give me an argument. Nah, on go on impact. then. Nah, the nah. survival specialist. You don't get that moniker for no reason. And I know obviously... Did well for Sunderland. That's true. But I just feel like having that title almost... You've earned it because you're he's, the impact man. He's lost you're it now. The, now he has. Mm. But to say throughout Premier League history, he hasn't had an impact. I think... Being it's that survival yeah. specialist for okay. so long, it's got to be average impact at least. Well, so just in, even because in, what we're yeah. doing here is we're looking at a lot of top managers who are competing right at the top. Yep. And he is almost like one of the underdog top dogs. I feel like. <laughs> yeah, I get that what makes sense. Yeah. 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 Okay. King has, of the street dogs. Has he moved the game forward in any way? <laughs> No, he's trying no. to keep it as back as much <laughs> as possible. <laughs> and he's, I respect He's that. trying to move it forward as quickly as possible <laughs> and as high as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay, let, we're nearly there. So, uh, before our initial, like, this is stage one, right? So David Moyes, we've still got here, and Roy Hodgson. Yet, to, and we've got, uh, currently we have seven in no impact. Yeah. We, uh, so One of these it. has to go in very impactful. We, huh? we have our six average impacts at the moment. Um, we only got three in impactful, and mm. we've got three... In very impactful and the most impactful is still, picked yet, yeah. still to be picked. We'll pick that at the end. So Hodgson, Sharky, where do you want to put him? Uh, Woy, big Woy. Woy, Woy, Woy. Um, obviously, we're talking about Premier League. Fulham, we didn't take them to Europa League final. Um, Roy Hodgson, man. 
How many games? But has he's managed, managed guy, everywhere. He's managed in a lot of places, hasn't so, he? So yeah, he's been all around the world. And I, I, I. He's, ma- he's done. Did a great job at West Brom. Yeah. Did a great job at Palace. Did a great job at Fulham. Did a Liverpool fans hate him? Yeah, I'll say Liverpool. A little bit above. <laughs> uh, felt like it was about England yeah. struggled. Obviously, this isn't really totally about that. Longevity, I think, is certainly there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Only came into the Premier League in 1997, I want to say, with Blackburn Rovers, where he did okay, mm. not brilliantly. Um, it's got to be down there somewhere. Like, impactful in the Premier League. There's going to be bumping around. Did here, all right. So yeah, did go with your heart, Ish. Okay, go on. I'm thinking he's managed in many places, but I think as a Premier League as a whole, how much impact has he had? No impact for me. Okay. 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 For me, it's no impact. Kai, you want to say something? He's the reason no Nana keeps letting in howlers. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. Go on. <laughs> Wait, why? Go on then, Kai. Read it out. Why is that gone? <laughs> this is what I think this is one where I read it. I went, what is this? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Let me hear it. So, I haven't got it in front of me, but I remember it. So, Roy Hodgson took over at Inter after they'd finished 13th and then 6th the year after. He then got them to a third place finish and essentially rebuilt them past the point of rebuilding when they didn't expect to be that good. Mm-hmm. He then leaves. But because of that success at Inter, they become what they are now and become like top five consistently. Yep. And then they get to the Champions League this sorry, year. Sorry. And then Nana the, goes to Manchester. Yeah, exactly. So he went so far, <laughs> man. He went, and in the... Like, in the, in the, in the running order. I love one. Kai, I love you with every bit of it. <laughs> in the running order, it said, fast forward 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, where's like, all Mourinho's, the context? Mourinho's got a Champions League in this time. <laughs> and that's what got them to the final. Yeah, I think I'm struggling with it. And right. now Nana is up by United. And that's why Nana keeps it in Howlers. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Look, I, I, I'm okay with Roy there. I think he's had a great career, but this is a, a stellar list, right? David Moyes. David Moyes. He's, I mean, Everton Brought, did a great job. Everton, amazing job. West, West Ham, Ham an amazing job. job. Not great at Sunderland. Went through a tough spell. Man yeah, United. Man, Man United, was he the full guy? He was. Yeah. Was he yeah. given enough I, time? I was, I, was. No, not, definitely not. Do you, do you think that David Moyes could have could have truly become successful at Man United? No. Has he got the grammar? I think I do think I don't know, but I do think they sacked them too soon. Yeah. I think they're just too this is Man United, the greatest team ever in Premier League history. They just lost uh Fergie. Fergie personally recommended uh David Moyes. Uh David Moyes came to United and they didn't even give him a full season. Like, come on. Like it's, it. I I just don't think that's fair. I think it did get done wrong. In but, hindsight it feels harsh. Yeah. Yeah. I think in the moment he kind of felt like he was out of his depth a little bit. It's so hard. Like, who takes was? over after Klopp? Oof. Like, it's impossible, right? Do you know what Those was the game so tough. which made me think he was out of his depth? Do you remember there was one game where he got criticised for not crossing the ball enough? Oh, was it not the one where he crossed too much? And then the very next game, he just said, yeah. you know what? I'm going to teach you lot. Every ball must go in the box. And yeah, Laney's like, going to yeah. be in there somewhere. I think, it was Ful- I think it was Fulham. There's maybe a ripple effect there. I wonder if Smalling was playing for Fulham in that mm. game. The crosses and crosses came through and then Smalling came, <laughs> made his way. So 81 his crosses. 81 crosses Jeez. in the game. Wow. Crazy. Has won a European trophy yes. for West Ham. Yes. Has managed a lot of games. Has stabilised West Ham. Yeah, well, doing well to the West point Ham where they were top 16 for a lot yeah, of years. Same with Everton. Kai, thoughts on David Moyes in terms of his Everton time? Yeah, I like him. He was working with hands behind, both hands tied behind his back because the board didn't have any money at that point. And he was going to scouting players for three years, signing Stephen Pina. Nobody yeah. had heard of him. Signing Fellini. Nobody had heard of him. Signing Kevin Seamus. Morales from Olympiacos, from Seamus Coleman, sixty thousand pounds. Greatest, greatest Tim manager. Cable from yeah. Millwall. He, yeah, he had the Ferguson model of I'm going to do everything. I'm the one at this club who does and, everything. Yeah. Nobody and, else does that. Yeah, for sure, massive impact in the Premier League because Mikel Arteta played mm. under him, learned under him. <laughs> you know, he managed Arteta. Yeah, yeah. Arteta mm. went on to become a great footballing manager. Everyone knows the potential he has. And I'll tell you, played under David Moyes. One of Moyes' boys. Uh, have yeah. you got... Boys. Who knows where the money is? <laughs> yeah, where know. is it, Bill? <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, two, two things with this. Well, first of all, did Everton overextend themselves because of what he'd built and then splashed too much money stupidly going after players that... They just weren't able to recruit correctly because they'd recruited mm. so well prior to that under David Moyes. And then the other side of it, if if they don't choose David Moyes, 
as the successor for um, Fergie. Mm. And they go with someone else. He has another great year at Everton and kind of gets the job second. Do you think Man United are, as someone who's clearly able to create building blocks within a club, maybe not at that level, do you think he could, do you think Man United would be in the state they're in if David Moyes had been the Louis van Gaal appointment instead of the, the first guy? No, I, I think a club of that kind of magnitude stretching, and pressure. I did feel yeah, like I was stretching it's, it's, it would always have been too much for me, I think, for him. Okay. And you're seeing it kind of with West Ham as the kind mm. of expectations increased and things got better and he needed to adapt. He kind of just started to fluctuate a little bit. And now they've kind of dropped a little bit. Expectations have eased. He's back in his element. So Okay. Fuad, where are you putting him? I would put... Initial gut. Don't worry about the pyramid. Average impact, I would put him. Okay. Personally. Right, so we have made our list. We now can make changes and we have to adhere to the Alcott pyramids. Um, if I can move David Moyes and we dream of it. And, we, and it's happened. Yeah, yeah, I'm it? not moving. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going. <laughs> okay, so we find ourselves in this situation where we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in no impact. Okay, we can move Done as much as we there. need to. Uh, we have we have a spaced Space in impactful if we want to keep it as is. Yep. Um, and there is one too many in average impact. Are there looking at it now? And if you want to see this, you can see it on uh, Spotify exclusively. Is is there anything you want to change before we m make it pretty like a pyramid? I want red nap moved. Okay, go go for it. Talk, I, convince I, me. I would like Redknapp moves further. I think the foundations he built at West Ham initially, uh, Tottenham, what he did for us as well. I just think the fundamental players that he's brought through over the decades as well, Portsmouth, you can never forget that period he had on them. Mm, it's never. just unforgettable. He spent FA loads Cup. of money. Oh, he spent loads of and they, they, are, loads. they have not recovered from it. Not at all. And, and guess what? Will. Impact. And guess what? It's impact. <laughs> yeah. It's impact at the I, end of the I, day. I can't... In terms of building clubs, you can't say that he's built more clubs up to a higher level with better foundations than David Moyes. He took Tottenham to their first Champions League qualification since 1989. David Moyes took West Ham to their first European trophy <laughs> in... Harren and would have won a Conference years. League. Definitely, if it existed when he was managing. He All I'm saying, is, I agree with Fuad. It doesn't sit right with me <laughs> for doing an impact-based list of managers in the Premier League history where Harry Redknapp is sat in a position where it says he has had no <laughs> impact in the Premier League. Okay. And I'm an Arsenal fan. Well, look, Joe. You know well, we'll go. Right All with those we'll go with the majority. Here. I'm comfortable. Where are you putting him then? I would even uh, average impact. He's an major at Bournemouth now, for and. Helps. I don't know if we've hit our limit. That's that's too old. I mean, someone's got to move down. Impact. If people are hurrying about, someone's got to move down. Do, do okay. you feel adamant? Do you feel adamant on this? I feel adamant about him. Redknapp. I back yeah. him. He can't be wow. Redknapp, I'm like, definite. I'm not having it, but okay. I right. think Tuchel's the one that could slip down. Right. I j So, okay. I feel like... Who will Premier League fans remember more? Thomas Tuchel? That's a great question. That's such a great question. Or Who Harry Redknapp? Thomas Tuchel, a fair point. A uh, fair point. And the stories. He I has. think um, I the Tuchel win. I'm a I celeb? think Conte is getting away with murder. <laughs> Did he? I was really trying <laughs> to ignore him. The Tuchel win. I'm a celeb. Oh, there we go. Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> I, I think Conte is getting getting very fortunate here. The three at the back. I agree with you. I said the same thing. We I will agree with you. We won't. We won't. He gets in because he won the league. Once with a team that should be winning the league. Facts. Should they? Sign Kante. Victor yeah, Moses right back. Anyways. Is mean... um, is, So, okay, right. So, average impact. We've got Brendan Rodgers. We've got Conte. We've got Howe. Okay, Eddie got... Howe. Yeah. Yeah, Eddie Howe. I think, but over sustained building, this is the thing, trophies or actually transforming a club. Has, has Conte or Tuchel transformed the clubs in any way if anything I would suggest that Tuchel by winning a Champions League has maybe done more than Conte okay I think I would I'm, say I think it's, I'm, it's had a negative impact though I, I, because it papered over cracks for Chelsea mm. fans and made them think they're better than what they are impact. and then now <laughs> the negative impact help. positive like, <laughs> I, I think I know where we're going wrong we're focusing too much on trophies where I think it's unfair for managers that are in this list that have never managed a team that were expected to win trophies as okay. much as other managers. I think impact should be not just not based on trophies, based on like the club. So based on 
the the level of the club they were at and how much they impacted that team uh, and whether that's transforming the team, whether that's bringing players through that ended up achieving big things in their career due to them specifically bringing them through. Like if we had Van Gaal on this list and he brought in someone like Rashford, for example, that is a big impact compared to someone like, like said, Conte, who Chelsea should be in and out winning the league those years anyways. Yeah. I think a high impact is how much you did with the team based on the expectation. Okay. But... Yes, I hear that. Right, we're, we're going to get to a vote here. We're going to get to a vote here. So, in Impactful, we've got Ranieri, Mourinho, and Klopp, okay? Now, when we finish this off, there'll be one person in Most Impactful, there'll be two in Very Impactful. Yeah. Is that six, are they locked in? I no, would... because we have one too many now, don't we? So you tell. I think we're okay. We have two too many. No, yeah. because you've got, you've got um, you can have seven in those top three. So we've got oh, six and we can top... add oh, one more. Oh, yeah, they're locked yeah. in. They're locked yeah. in. For they're sure. locked yeah. in. Okay, yeah, yeah, so sure. so what we're really figuring out now is one can move up and yeah. one has to move down. So, and Carl, I'm going to give you a vote here. What one move from average impact or no impact, if you want to go, if you want to be fruity, you need to move one. Actually, don't. Average impact. <laughs> within average impact, one's got to move up and one's got to move down. Cool. Rogers, Conte, how? Kenny, Tuchel, Benitez, David Moyes, and Harry Redknapp. So let's start with moving down. Who so, moves? So Harry's down. just come up, so he can, he doesn't need to move down, or he will definitely move up again. My vote. <laughs> My intrusive thoughts. You move Harry back down. <laughs> My vote is we that can, we can I chuck this. Harry down. I chuck Harry down. That is my vote. Do you agree? Because if you do, it's too old. Yeah, nah, put too cool. Oh, too cool. Okay. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Actually, you're right. In terms yeah. of being memorable, oh, it's tough. I think it's. I think the Harry Renard's been more impactful in the Premier League than Thomas Tuchel. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Overall, Factual. overall, you're right. We won't remember Tuchel. But we Tuchel's won't remember been, Tuchel. Tuchel's been in two cup finals. Uh, was that Lampard? Yeah. Was Lampard, wasn't it? No, if, Tuchel if, was no, no, say, Tuchel. say yeah, Eddie Howe, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. say Eddie Howe um, has a solid season this year. Mm. They get knocked out in the quarterfinals. Next year, sort of doesn't go to plan. Then he's kind of. Out. Does that overall? He's, are we, how he's much still, are we giving the Bournemouth? He still had the Bo- Bournemouth rise. He still had a big impact on Newcastle, I reckon. Come in and genuinely yeah. like in this like he came in halfway through the season when they were near the relegation zone, kept them up comfortably. Top, I think made like mid table, top ten position. Second full second season, which was his fourth first full but season, I still had an impact on Newcastle. And wherever they so go, hard. wherever <laughs> they go after him, you'll still remember Eddie Howe as the first one. When Saudi owners came, he's the a Mancini. One. Question: Aha! Who's at I the was bottom? just about to say, is he not Mancini? And Mancini's a no impact. No, because when Mancini came to City, where they ha- where Newcastle was, no. And the and the man they had Taxi Sinawatra, so they did have some money before that as well. So people forget that there was a take off. No, 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 that's the, the Newcastle squad is miles off the the Man City squad. With Man City, Mancini. Yeah, they got sure. they had Robinho. Didn't they? And still before that, and Delano. Still have players. Uh, right, come on. Though. Come on. Uh, yeah, but before I'd say two down. down. I'm saying two. I'm two shall down as well. Two shall down. Done. Down you pop. Okay, good. Look at it. Isn't it starting to look nice? No, so, look right, we now move one up. Okay, one person can move up. Right. For me, there are two names here. Maybe three. The three names for me are... I think Brendan Rodgers has been harshly dealt with in this podcast. I think Rafa Benitez... And I think David Moyes are my three. Mm. I would agree with Rafa Benitez and David Moyes more than I would Brendan Rodgers, I think. And I think I'm leaning more towards David Moyes as well. Because I think of the impact he had at Everton. He actually made them almost like the best of the rest, if we recall. Mm. Are Everton Everton in... Are they in the championship? Will they have been in the championship by now if it wasn't for David Moyes? Yeah, because he was the one scouting the players as well. So it's not like the infrastructure was just, on his own. He was a bet. Yeah, he, he was, was the Arsene everything. Wenger for even, Everton. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. ran that. It yeah. was his team. Even after he left, a lot of those players were still knocking around and doing bits. Yeah. The Osmonds, the yeah. Baines is still there now as a coach. <laughs> so he, his okay. his effect yeah. his effects is still there now. Yeah. Uh, so I I can't stop looking at Rafa Benitez. I don't I don't I don't see it. If you take away the Champions League, which is European, Premier League-wise, what's the impact? Yeah. So, well, that leads that then, then Brendan Rodgers, then. Although, in, if you're talking Premier League specifically. 
But then we, we, we've sort of we're bleeding around. We're bleeding around. Rogers, yeah, yeah. Rogers has had an impact in the Premier League, so, a big impact as well, or a pretty decent. We need to impact. get to the top. It say say a name, Kai. Who goes up? Everton Moyes. Everton Moyes. I said Everton, <laughs> not Moyes. Shout I was out like, to say a name. <laughs> yeah, David Moyes. Cast two. Moyes boys. Moyes boys. Moyes makes it. Okay, up you go, David. Well done. Oh. Well done. What a look at you. Okay. <laughs> That is that is lovely. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Lovely. Four. So we need. Okay. Oh, so one, one question. <laughs> one question. I think Ranieri and David Moyes definitely an impactful. No movement there whatsoever. Mm. Is there a conversation of Mourinho or Klopp in very impactful? There uh, is a conversation. More so for me. Look at the three above. Yeah. More so, more so, Josie than yeah. than Klopp. Yeah, more so somehow Jose Klopp Klopp. doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't click for me there. He obviously did change it for them, and I think Liverpool fans will obviously feel that that they're all. Do you know what it is for me? Is the fact that Jose came in initially broke that uh, Arsenal United duopoly. Then yeah. it was a case of the second wind when he came as well, gave the little horse gimmick, and it was Chelsea had now yeah. lost their way a little bit, and the Champions League was kind of the last thing, or the Europa League was the last thing they'd won. And he came and brought that back. So it was like twice you were able to almost come into the league. Can I check something out there? And be a meteor. <laughs> a little hand grenade. Go on. Is Mourinho just Mancini? <laughs> oh, they, had no. the <laughs> they had the money as well. But no, no, he's not. Do you know why? He is, nah. Yeah, because nah, nah, nah. he, he did They'd things They spent with, a lot. Yeah, he did, did things with poor toll before back to back European trophies. That's a Premier League. His credentials. Ancelotti, that's Ancelotti, mate. That's Ancelotti then. <laughs> no, I think I think I think Mourinho is it goes beyond just the pitch. I think yeah. impacting the Premier League as yeah. a league as a whole. Because Wenger as well, a lot of what he did to brought to the Premier League was also off the pitch stuff, you know, yeah. the dietary stuff, all that stuff. So I think Mourinho, just his personality alone, and we're not even talking about his what he did with Chelsea as a manager, personally alone, impacted the Premier League massively. I think if, if I ask the question, if I go, right, uh, name the greatest managers ever, go, in 60 seconds, I think you go Wenger, Fergie, Pep, Klopp, Jose. I think Jose you go like that yeah, yeah. really quickly. Moyes. Moyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Mourinho is Jerry one. Francis. I just think with that off the pitch stuff as well, in terms of like, the swagger, the arrogance That's managers have nowadays. I look at guys like Arteta. I look at the Zerbi. They are all off spawns of Jose. The way they talk and the, the slick back confidence, hair, the little, the little polos that they all bro, wear. And bro, I always feel Jose confidence. created. Do you know what I think as well? The thing with Jose above Klopp, Jose, Jose Fergie, you could argue Pep for sure. Yeah, you could. And Wenger, they've had their own era. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Jose 100%. era. 100%. Do you know what I mean? I don't think Klopp's had his own era. We need, no. He sort of battled with no, Pep in an era. Klopp's very yeah. unfortunate. Like Klopp's very because yeah, he's unfortunate. End of the day, bro. It's like three champ in, in Klopp's era of Liverpool manager in seven years, three Champions League finals, three uh, second place finishes. I think or no, well two second place finishes, and, and, and he's won the league. And those two second place finishes were like ninety seven points, and Ridiculous. like one, it's like he Would've should have had an title. era. Yeah. Um, he did have an era. But that era was just unfortunate Stolen. because you had to compete with yeah. City and Madrid. Okay. Klopp's two impact will be when he leaves. Yes. That's the impact. And then Mourinho, he's the one that brought Brendan Rodgers to Chelsea, which led him to wow. Swansea, which led him to get Royal Pool. So that's impactful. He's got mm. two managers on this list, Josie. That's, that's, nice. yeah. but, that's a great shout, actually. I love <laughs> that. Put him at the top. <laughs> so does okay, so Mourinho's gently climbing the charts here. Does is there any way Mourinho gets ahead of these Three. I think the only one you can argue with is maybe Wenger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Mourinho. One of them moves down. Who? <sighs> this Cause, is tough. Because yeah. Because I think so. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put most impactful. I'm going to put Pep and uh, and Fergie. The one thing we haven't spoken about Pep much. Mm. Also, Alex. Would was... would answer this? <laughs> <laughs> would Man City, if they had another manager? It would have been again. I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, I know, but it would have been elite manager. Yep. Within the years that he's been there, they mm. might have two less Premier Leagues. Yep. But will they still have completed the set? No. No. Treble. I don't think Champions League. No treble. No uh, Centurion. Mm. Like those points, ridiculous. Yeah, no. no different teams. Every mm. season. That comes from the Pep standard. Like, yes, I believe. And I think they would have been like a, a Pellegrini, Mancini type, where they win a title here and there. Yeah. They're competing. But the league's a bit more open, more yeah. competitive. Liverpool, Klopp would have won more leagues. 
Um, yes. Klopp would have won. Klopp would be Klopp. Yeah. It would Klopp Klopp probably be Klopp. Would have been higher yeah. in this. Yeah, he would have had his own era. Yeah, okay, agreed. so those are in the in the top two. So we can only have two in this bottom one. So one of Mourinho and Wenger has to drop down to impactful. That's the discussion. I think. I'm I'm looking at Wenger and thinking he might have a case to move up. Up. Hey, I'm not against who, it. Who who's the only manager with an invincible? And when you talk about kind of impact into the Premier League, kind of dietary. Mm-hmm. Tactically, mm-hmm. every aspect and facet you look at it, Wenger was he the came, p- almost yeah. the he pioneer came and brought, of that. He generally came and was brought class to the Premier League. Genuinely. Is yeah. is impact? Does impact have to be pure? In in what sense? So what I'm saying is, you've basically got the sweet purist in Wenger, mm-hmm. and you have got the out and out winner in Mourinho, who I can't keep my eyes off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wenger, you're not as bothered about that, but you appreciate what he stood for and what he looked to do. Mm-hmm. And when he came in, he you could feel he was ahead. I think I just And he made <laughs> he played beautiful football. I, I wish I was around well, like old and well, watching football when he first came to the Premier League. Gen- Mate, I'm devastated but I remember for, watching he Arsenal, beauty to the Premier League. I remember watching Arsenal Chelsea in two thousand and four and I was just like yeah. wow. They just popped him off off the um park. Yeah. Like the stadium they, they as well had there. the capability to make it very Prime. physical. And then oh, to play we were so well. fit. Like that's what I'm saying. Like that, that the teams, early teams, he had giants. Well, like and, Titans. But has he had and a bigger impact on the Premier League? You look we at, do not. Jose you Mourinho, look at, I think so. I'm sorry, but even like so. new stadiums being built before yeah. Arsenal, who was yeah. really building new stadiums like that? I think, I think you're think right. So. I think overall Mourinho has to drop back down. I agree. Like, because I, what I, we're doing is we're, we're popping him in there because he's because you can't stop talking about it, mm-hmm. right? But aside from that. The overall change of Chelsea, they were still on this trajectory. Yeah, yeah. We've already chucked in the idea that he could have been a bit of a man, man genie in terms of they were getting, they were going in that direction anyway. Yeah. Wenger didn't have that big new ownership. Mm-hmm. Um, the stadium thing is very, very important. Like yeah. that, that just made the te- impacted the actual team yeah. so much bigger on a global size. And then, Do you know what? And, and the and ability and to make the best out of what he had. Yes. Yeah. And be- Adams, like Keo, like these guys, like he, he, he turned he, them into he, new players. He elongated yeah. their career. Yeah, Mate, yeah. He, he literally had three different eras, as you say. He had that kind of core Brexit, George <laughs> yeah. Graham takeover era. Mm-hmm. Then he built his side, the Henri Vieira, as I felt like. Then the stadium came and his hands were restricted almost. And he had to, as you said, you almost team. enjoyed that bit because it was he was so limited, but mm-hmm. you were so surprised at what he was able to get out of it mm-hmm. to still qualify for Champions League for 20 plus years year in a row. Was, crucially, are we sat here right now without Arsene Wenger? Because AFTV yeah. Yeah, is God. not AFTV. Without if there's if there's a football channel pyramid pioneer or Allcott's pyramid, <laughs> AFTV's right at the top. You know, and the pyramids of Allcott. Pyramids of Allcott. <laughs> AFTV is right at the top, man. AFTV yeah. became as big as they are because of Wenger's failure towards the end. Bro, mate. Wenger's number one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wenger's most wait, impactful. Wait, okay. So football YouTube's not as huge. What that thing <laughs> It's the ripple effect. Hey, this is, I'm sorry. But for YouTube is not as huge as it is <laughs> and everything that's going on. And t- just to be clear, the overlap, Sky Sports, yep. Super Sunday, the way they talk is from the impact of AFTV yeah. and the impact of AFTV comes from Because Venga. AFTV, yeah, giving the fans a voice. I Bruh. think, yeah. <laughs> just a, just a, when you literally speak on the word ripple effect, that is it. Arsene yeah. Wenger landing in England, the ripple yeah. effects from that can be felt from every from, was it Japan and aspect. Yeah. And that's, for me, the most fascinating bit is nobody expected it. was Arsene who? Everybody Hugh. laughed yeah. at him when he came. It's like... At least Fergie had won some things in Scotland. You kind of knew what you was getting. Yeah, he won done his thing at Barcelona. You knew what he was getting. Man, that's I'm awesome. not going to lie. Arsene Wenger's the number one most impactful. Because you don't have the noise, do you? I'm, do you I'm have a... the same kind of noise? I don't <laughs> think you do. No. And I'm a Spurs fan yeah. telling you this. So yeah. it should say a lot. <laughs> this isn't about the best managers ever. Because yes. you can see, but there's managers at the bottom that are like unbelievable managers. This is the most wow. impactful managers in the Premier League history. And impact off like just the, the player health and like stopping players smoking and going to the mm-hmm. pub uh, all that stuff and mm-hmm. on the pitch Mental and health. changing the, the the class the beauty of the Premier League and turning into like a classy league to competing coming in and coming to Fergie's league and giving them direct competition winning doubles winning uh, obviously bringing in Thierry and Nelka you know players like that he's like, the most impactful for me the most and obviously the stadium thing you mentioned which I wasn't even going to mention which yeah. is an unbelievable point 
the most impactful manager for me in Premier League history. All right, last last sort of oh, last swings talk. at this. Cool. If you're Pep or Fergie, one thing with Pep I would say is the way that teams play mm -hmm. and that impact that he's had from that is enormous. Is it bigger than the impact of AFTV on the world? I mean, the, <laughs> <laughs> the tactical impact Pep has had, I think, is revolutionary. I think the football over the past decade, but that would just that would scope outside of the Premier yeah, League. That was in my be opinion. even before Premier League, yeah. where he was doing the Barcelona. He obviously coming to the Premier League and now he's changed a lot. And I think even the England national team has seen the benefits of Pep managing in England. But I think it all, he it, already had that. He was already seen as the best manager in the world before he came to the Premier League. And of course, I think he deservedly so is in that very impactful category. But the points that we made about Wenger... And I think, and strong, I think sometimes it? it's, strong. it's, it's mm. tactically when you have the best players, mm. you can impact things so tactically. You had the best players, when yeah. you don't have the best players... That's when I'm looking at you tactically and seeing what you could do. And Arsene Wenger always did that. Final thing I'll say, why it's Arsene Wenger, I think, is that in terms of being a foreign manager who hadn't really played at the highest level, mm. coming into the top clubs yeah. and being the manager, that is something we see time and time again now. And he was the first. Yep. Yeah. And even yeah. look at Monaco, George Weah, he credits it to Arsene Wenger. Mm. Even and Wenger's having an impact in football right now, still, as he works with FIFA. Friday. You know, this is Arsene Wenger, mate. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. I did not see that coming. Awesome. <laughs> uh, boys, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, guys, I'm sure you're fuming right now, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. It's just a bit of fun. That was the Pyramids of Allcott. If you enjoyed that, you want to see more, let me know uh, yours. We'll put the link to this in the description. You yep. can go and have a go yourself. Um, get it on Twitter. Um, but don't get too angry about it. Give us a five-star rating on the podcast. Yep. Go check out the boys as well. And we'll see you very, very soon.